Continuing our talk about arithmetic of complex numbers, we're going to talk about multiplication. Now, I'm going to kind of belabor this point. I know I've already talked about it in all the previous complex videos. But we're defining i to be the square root of negative 1. Or, in other words, we're saying that i is a number such that when you square it, when you look at i squared, that's equal to minus 1. Well, keeping that in mind, if we look at 14 of P5, and this is on page 49, 14 asks us to perform the operation 4 plus 3i times 5, or uh, excuse me, 2 plus 5i. Now, looking at this, I'm really tempted to distribute. I'm really tempted to FOIL. And that's exactly what I do. This is how I multiply complex numbers. I'll get to a formula if you prefer formulas, but this is how I multiply complex numbers. I do 4 times 2, so I'm going to write this out slow. I'm not going to write down 8, I'm just going to write down 4 times 2, take it real slow first time around, 4 times 5i, so plus 4 times 5i, then the inner, 3i times 2, and then finally, 3i times 5i. I multiplied everything in here with everything in here. Well, what happens when I do that? Well, 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 5i, if I think about this as 4 times 5x, 4 times 5x would be 20x, but it's not x, it's i. Same thing with 3i times 2. If I think about this as 3x times 2, it's going to be 6x. But instead of x, I've got an i written there instead. But I'm going to treat it the exact same way as if it were x. Ah, 3i times 5i. Well, if this was 3x and 5x, that would be 15x squared. So this should be 15i squared. Now, if this were x, the only, really thi the only thing I could do is combine these two. Make this 8 plus 26x plus 15x squared. But according to how I've arranged i, it turns out that i squared is negative 1. So this ends up being 8. I can go ahead and combine these two to be 26i. But 15i squared is just the same thing as 15 times minus 1, because i squared is minus 1. So this is 8 plus 26i minus 15 is 15 times negative 1 is minus 15 and the only two like terms we have are 8 and minus 15 8 minus 15 is minus 7 and that is our result all we're doing is distributing or foiling and keeping in mind that as we do this, i squared is negative 1. That's all there is to multiplication of complex numbers.
Now, I said I'd give you a formula. So if you like formulas, I warn you, this isn't pretty, but if you prefer formulas, that's all right. Just not my choice. Here's the formula you're going to have to memorize. One complex number, a plus bi, times another complex number, c plus di, is going to be the complex number a c minus b d. That's the real part. The imaginary part is a d plus b c. Told you it wasn't very pretty. The result is not very obvious, not immediately obvious, just looking at the left hand side kind of like addition and subtraction were. That's why I prefer this. I don't have to memorize this, you know, long, complicated formula. I just have to foil. I just have to distribute and simplify. But that's my method. And if it's not your method, that's okay. Stick with what works for you. This is the formula if you prefer it.